Hello, ladies and gentlemen. We are here today with day number 19 of the 30 day modern challenge with Escape Shift. It's a classic deck that has been around for a while but hasn't really been as dominant as it used to due to uh, a lot of shifts in the metagame. But I'm. Sh <laughs> but uh, it's still possible that this deck can get there. It's very consistent and, you know, it, numbers don't lie, you know? Going two four six is usually pretty good. I mean, sometimes you just kill your opponent on turn four, and you know, simple, easy. Uh, I'm not 100% sold on the deck, but it was what was next in the list, so we're <laughs> we gotta play it. Anywho, this list is pretty sweet that I saw. It's splashing black for some sideboard card. Card, I mean, yeah, just card, just one card. But it might change a couple matchups, but we'll see. Anywho, we got one Blood Crypt, one Bloodstained Mire, three Cinder Glade, two Forest, uh, six Mountains, four Stomping Ground, four Water Foothills, two Verdant Catacombs, and four Valakut. So the whole point of the deck, obviously, is to win with Valakut the Molten Pinnacle, which is whenever a mountain enters the battlefield under my control, if I control at least five other mountains, I can have Valakut deal three damage to any target. So, obviously, my entire deck searches for mountains other than the two forests and we have some combos and we'll go over these in a second we have two summers packed three lightning bolt four search for tomorrow four sakura tri builder a prismatic omen a colony heart expedition four farseek three anger the gods three wood elves four escape shift and four primeval titan so the main point of the deck is to get to uh you know either six mana and play a primeval titan get to Valakuts and then kill your opponent next turn when you attack with your Primeval Titan, or get to 7 mana most of the time, play Escape Shift, sacrifice all 7 of your lands, search up 6 mountains and a Valakut, and that deals 18 damage due to Valakut looking at all the lands coming into play at the exact same time. Therefore you have at least 5 other mountains, so that will deal 18 damage, assuming they've taken some damage from you know fetch lands, shock lands, or a lightning bolt, or anything else you've just killed them. Consistently, it can probably go off turn four just by going, you know, turn one search for tomorrow, turn two Farseek, you know, turn three Sikro Tribe Elder or Wood Elves, and then play Primeval Titan. So that's one land for the turn, search for tomorrow. Second land for the turn, Farseek, you go up to three mana. On the third turn, search for tomorrow comes down, that goes to four mana, you play a land, five mana, and then, you know, play another ramp spell, that goes up to 6 mana, you play a land for the turn, that's 7 mana, and then 7 mana for turn 4 kill of escape shift. Easy peasy. Uh, there's not too much really that you need to know about the deck, it's literally just looking for lands with Farseek, Search for Tomorrow, Sarkar, Tribe Elder, Wood Elves, uh, being able not to die with Anger of the Gods and Lightning Bolt for creatures, Summoner's Pack to give you more uh, copies of Primeval Titan basically, and then your win conditions are escape shift and Primeval Titan. And of course, just Val could. Uh, sideboard, we have two Nature's Claims for artifacts and enchantments, obviously. Uh, Tireless Tracker, which is used against grindier matchups and control matchups, since your deck is entirely based on putting lands into play. Obviously, you just get a bunch of clues, which is always pretty nice. Also, in Modern, you have access to fetch lands, which are quite good with Tireless Tracker. We have three Obstinate Balos for aggressive matchups, plus discard heavy matchups, plus burn. We have Slaughter Games for combo matchups. Um, basically, it's just a old school cranial extraction, or I guess in this day it would be what, Unmasked Ego, or what was last format's Lost Legacy. That's an option too. But we can cast this on turn three pretty reliably since we have, you know, Circo Tribe Elder and Farseek and Search for Tomorrow. So that usually gives us enough time to cast it in the face of a combo matchup. So, say against KCI, we name. Crackland Ironworks, say against Storm, we'll probably name, I don't know, uh, Grape Shot or whatever we can't beat. We could just name like Past and Flames or Gives Ungiven or whatever. Against Ad Nauseam, we just name Ad Nauseam. <laughs> you know, you get, you get what I mean. And then uh, last card is Grafter's Cage. We have three of them, obviously, against Graveyard Strategies. And uh, it depends on what kind of Coco matchup, but you can bring them in. So, like, the combo Coco matchup. I don't like them against uh, Band Spirits, but I do like them against the combo Coco matchup because it also hits 
Cord and Collective Company. But yeah, deck is fairly straightforward. You just want to play a bunch of ramp spells and then play in Primeval Titan or Escape Shift. Fairly straightforward. Let's get into it. Fire up a Modern League. And let's go. I've been doing super great with uh, these later entries into the 30-day uh, challenge, but, you know, we'll see if we can do a bit better. I, uh, I'm i not too, like, looking forward to this deck. It's kind of, one, a, a boring deck in my opinion. Also, I just don't think it's at a right time in the metagame, though we could catch... Uh, if we play against a lot of dredge players, dredge is a very good matchup, especially since we have three main deck anger of the gods, which is a very good card against them. And in general, that matchup is very good for us. So if we catch a lot of dredge, which we have been playing against a bunch lately, that would be very positive. We do not want to play against uh, hyper uh, fast combo. Like I don't really want to play against dredge. I uh, sorry not dredge. <coughs> sorry not dredge like storm or infect or. Uh, at nauseum, KCI. I don't want to play against these decks. <laughs> they are very bad matchups as we usually have no interaction other than, uh, excuse me, are a couple copies of Slaughter Games. We are going first. Well, we have. Oh, we don't even have turn two. All right. Well, if we had a turn two Farseek, I'd probably keep the hand, but we don't even have a turn two Farseek, so we guess I kind of have to mulligan this hand. Our deck has to be relatively consistent. Well, hmm. we need one forest for this hand to be okay. I think I'm going to go ahead and keep. It's possible that Anger of the Gods is just very, very good against our opponent, so we can hope for that. If not, we do have quite a few green sources. We have a whole bunch of fetch lands, plus the mountains, sorry, the most of the uh, plains themselves. Or, what am I saying plains? They're forests. <laughs> plus stomping grounds, plus. Uh, Cinder Glades. I'm pretty sure every land in our deck is a green source except for the six mountains and the four Valakuts. So that's five, six, seven cards left in our deck. There's a Titan. We do want that card, but unfortunately we cannot keep it. So we'll play Valakut and we'll pass the turn. Snow Covered Mountain. Alright. This could honestly be anything. I guess it can't be anything. It's probably either the, uh, just two lands, all right, interesting. I was going to say it's probably either the uh, the new deck that's been going around, the, the Steamkin deck. If I had to take a wild guess, I'd guess that deck. But our opponent's doing nothing. Granted, so are we, because we haven't drawn a land. But, hey, they're not doing anything either, so I guess that's a positive. One, two, three. Spirit Guide, Thunderbreak, Regent. All right. Well, I guess we're playing against Mono Red Dragons. Well, <laughs> guess we're doing a whole lot of nothing, unfortunately. I mean, if we just draw, like, a forest here, we're in pretty good shape. We do a forest. So we can go search for tomorrow which gets us an untapped uh, forest, and then we can play, boom, Farseek. And then next turn we have Primeval Titan, and should be good from there. If we're allowed to, I suppose. But yeah, hopefully, I'm fairly certain this deck plays Blood Moon. That is an unfortunate card to play against in game one, because we can't really kill our opponent outside of playing Primeval Titans in game one against a face in the face of a blood moon but yeah here we get to go cinder glade into search for tomorrow untapped bay untapped forest and then play far seek which is still pretty good we could play wood elves i suppose too i guess it's basically the exact same i suppose technically this one can go get um this one can deal some damage at least maybe This we can actually search for a uh, another Cinder Glade, which is actually not that bad at all. So 
since Cinder Blade is a forest and a mountain, or a mountain forest, if you will, whichever you prefer. And it comes into play untapped. Which allows us to actually play Search for Tomorrow too, so maybe we can do that instead. I don't think it really matters. This gets us four and then the fifth one. So we have to play Titan next turn, which is good. It's possible we do actually just want to get Forest here, just in case they have uh, Blood Moon. But they didn't play it last turn. They also just didn't even Faithless Looting last turn, which is a little strange. Yeah, you know what? I think I'm just going to play safe and just get a Forest. Just play around Blood Moon, I suppose. Might as well not get completely punked out. I mean, Blood Moon's still not good for us, but at least we don't just die to it. Actually, I think with this one we'll get a Mountain, because now that I think about it, if they don't have Blood Moon next turn, we can play Primeval Titan, and we have uh, two shots with it. Well, two Mountains, so we'll have four, then two more Mountains will come into play, we'll have six Mountains. That means this goes off twice, this goes off twice. So that's actually pretty good. So that's uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. So we can shoot this twice. This is Beller ability. Oh, that's awkward. I guess we will not shoot that twice. <laughs> I was just like, oh, we can just kill that. It's like, oh, we take 6 damage from doing that. Let's not do that. Let's just, uh, you know, not do that. Let's say we did. I guess we can technically Anger and then Valakut. That only gives us 3 damage. I guess that's not that bad. So we take 4 this turn. 4 the following turn. Hmm. We might be dead if they have Storm Breath Dragon here, actually. Bolt me. Alright, sure. Bolt me. Alright, well, I guess we're definitely dead to Storm Breath Dragon if they have it next turn. Because we can't kill the Thunderbreak Regent. Chandra. Okay. You got it. Simeon Spirit Guide. So we take four here, go to four. Well, that's very awkward. So we died at just about everything. That's pretty stinky. Is there any way we can just kill our opponent here? So, this is 18 damage, I think. I think we are one short. One, two, three, four, five, six. Oh no, I think we can kill our opponent. So, we play Primeval Titan. That gets two mountains. This deals uh, 12 damage. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Play our land for the turn, that deals 6 more damage, that's 18, and then we can play Farseek for the last one. So, let's go ahead and do that. Titano! Well, they didn't have Blood Moon, so that's nice. Yeah, that's exactly. We got to untap. Yes. <laughs> Go team. I was all worried for a second. I guess we were pretty boned. Yeah, we were we were fairly boned if they just had blood moon. I would like to use Primeval Titan's ability. Thank you for asking. I'll get uh, stomping ground and another stomping ground. No, also no. You. I said you. Thank you. All right, all of them. Yes, yes, still yes, also yes. So wooded foothills, cracks. Go three. We'll get our last cinder glade. One and two 
Yes. Yes. Farseek. We're stomping around. No. Kill you. Alright, perfect. Nice and easy. <laughs> Not even close. So, Bela seems okay here since they're dealing us a bunch of damage. I'm gonna bring in Nature's Claim just in case of Blood Moon. I don't want to be completely cold to that. And it seems like Anger of the Gods is quite bad, and it also seems like Awakening Bolt is quite bad. So, we don't really need those. Not that this here. I think we can shave one scape shift. If they're a Blood Moon deck, it's quite bad against them. Prismatic Omen kind of helps here, but obviously that's a one of. And I think we can shave probably either this Colony Heart Expedition, I think. Yeah, let's just go with this Colony Heart Expedition. Let's do that. <laughs> we can bring in Slaughter Games for solely Blood Moon, but I think that's quite greedy, so let's not do that. Alright, well, this hand technically is turn for Titan if we draw it, so we'll go ahead and keep. Uh, we'll just play the Cinder Glade here and pass. Hopefully they don't have turn two Blood Moon. If they do, then well, that's pretty unfortunate for us. They do not, so good times. So we will play our Secure Dry Builder. Also, we drew our Prismatic Omen, which means uh, our Valakuts deal a lot more damage very fast. Which is pretty excellent. Faithful Suiting, deal. I like how it shows that it's one snow mana now. I mean, I like that uh, that change they just made. I like that change quite a bit, actually. Not that it actually like matters too much, but it's still nice. It's still something that they should have had a long time ago, and I still appreciate it. Hmm. Well, they do have Blood Moon, so good thing we brought those in. Uh, I don't see a reason to sacrifice the Courage Eye Builder other than the forest, so I guess we kind of need that in order to further our gameplay. Okay, well, we can go Wood Elves into the Courage Eye Builder, I suppose. I kept in Anger of the Gods, which is a little interesting. Does not seem like a very good card against us, considering it hits almost nothing, but oh well. We'll get another forest. Player Cinder Glade and it comes into play untapped because it's a mountain, and then we can just go from here. Our Valakut's turned off, which is unfortunate. So now we're looking for uh, Primeval Titan, a uh, Sargon, very nice. Looking for Primeval Titan, we're looking for Tireless Tracker, and we can look for a Nature's Claim too. Just tossed a braid, that's interesting. Farseek, not so great. So we'll just go ahead and play Prismatic Omen, and we can go ahead and play another Sacred Tribe Builder. Attack Sarkin, and then pass. All right, here comes the big old dragon. A big old dragon. Four four. Four four. You got. It. That's a good one. One two. Three and four. Game four. I think we'll just pass the turn here. Not much reason to attack here. I mean, we could basically trade our Wood Elves for two damage to Sarkin, but I don't really think we need that. Here comes the Dragons. That's a big one. That is a large Dragon. I'm taking eight. I mean, technically the race is in our favor, not by much. Yep. Okay. That's land, unfortunately. 
So we can go kill Sarkin, attack them. play one land. We can keep this land in our hand just in case we draw a uh, bolt me. That's unfortunate. Just in case we draw a uh, a uh, nature's claim. Oh, that's a lot of flying damage. Well, I guess we're dead. That's unfortunate. Alright, well, nothing, nothing we can really do about that. Hampton, nature's claim, CF shift. Alright, well, I guess in two turns we were going to win, but not much we can do about that. Well, what are we going to do about about four fours? Four fours, too strong apparently. Alright, well, I think we can keep it the way it is. I still don't think Anger of the Gods is that great, so. Uh, yeah, the sand seems great. We have turn one search for tomorrow, turn two far seek. Keep obstinate bail off is something at least. Can bite us some time. And we'll most likely just get, uh, I suppose, forest with this, just to play around Blood Moon still. Yeah, Blood Moon is pretty annoying. We only have two outs to it, so. If they just go a quick Blood Moon with a bunch of 4-4s, four just like the last game. I mean, obviously, we didn't actually have any, like, gas spells. Slaughter them all out. Forehead. <laughs> yeah, just bring them in. All right, crack, grab ourselves a forest. I mean, technically they can play turn one, uh, what, turn one Blood Moon? They have a uh, double Simeon Spirit Guide. That'd be pretty impressive. Pretty bad for us, but still pretty impressive. Take as little damage as possible. Spend this. Our hand's pretty good. I don't know. We have like pretty quick clock. We have turn one, Sarkin Fireblood. Well, that's uh, that's pretty good. <laughs> this could be pretty bad for us. Uh, all right. Well, I mean, do the best we can, I suppose. Do the best we can. Gonna play a 4-4 four four here, I'm guessing. Yep. <laughs> Jeez. That's, uh... Ooh, nothing. Alright. Nothing is great for us. Nothing gives us time. I would like to cast it, thank you very much. Cast this obstinate bail off. Ooh, actually... Cancel that. Uh, this puts us up to five, six, seven. Oh no, we have to cast the opposite bail off, I guess. Go ahead. I wonder why they're not drawing and discarding. I'm not sure. Here comes a five, five. Oh, glory bringer. Well. That was a reason to play what else? This is seven? Alright, that's a little scary. Uh, let's see here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Alright, well, I guess we can go this. Play what elves. Grab a. I guess we get a forest here. Not that I think it matters that much. One, two, three, four. No, I think we could just get a forest here. We're just gonna kill them with scape shift, I think. Or at least we're gonna try. I mean obviously if they have blood moon, then I guess we're pretty dead. But I feel like they're just gonna play more dragons and then they die to scape shift. Oh, no, they're looking for it. They're looking for it. It'd be pretty crappy if they have it. Uh, 
Anger the Gods. Uh, okay. <laughs> they got him. All right, so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Uh, let's play this one. Escape shift. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay, seven times three is 21. Right, one, two, three, four. I can't tell if this one's like highlighted or not. One, uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. All right, good. I'm glad they changed that. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I guess we can just get a valve kit, right? One, two, three, four, five. I can't tell. Like, it's just so, so hard to see. It's like kind of silly. Move this over. One, two, three, four, five, six. Alright, it is six. That nah, doesn't really matter. No. One. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yes. Also, yes. Still, yes. Yeah, I think so. Yeah. Yeah. Ah, uh, what do you think? This one, too? Yeah, we'll do that one, too. <laughs> Alright. Good start. I was scared for Blood Moon there. If they had the Blood Moon, then, well, that would have been very unfortunate. That would have been quite bad. I like how there's like four bots on my channel. It's kind of fucked. <laughs> Not gonna lie. Kind of fucked. But, I don't think we can really do anything. <laughs> Well, we're definitely hoping for another two wins at least. Uh, not play against like Storm. Don't want to do that. I would like to play first, thank you. So we have turn two Sakura Drive Elder into turn three Wood Elves into possibly turn four Titans, so we'll keep. We also have an Anger of the Gods in between if we need to. Basically, what most of the hands look like. Either this spell is a you know a action spell, or it's a bolt, or a sweeper, or something like that. So it's basically everything we want. Can't complain. Let our opponent <laughs> let our opponent know right away what we are. Excuse me. We are against. Uh oh, gemstone mine usually means bad matchup. <laughs> I believe this is ad nauseum, which is a very bad matchup. And by very bad, I mean like very bad. Yep. All right. Well, I mean that does give us something here. So our life total is not that relevant. So we can just freely kind of take damage. Our hand is reasonable, so I suppose that's something. We have to kill them before they kill us. Most likely they're going to kill us, though, because if we go off and, uh, if we go off with, um, you know, Valakut and stuff like that, if we try and kill them, they could just play Angel's Grace, not die, and then kill us on their turn, 
it's like very very frustrating because we just can't do anything about it there was a an when this matchup was when this deck was like super duper popular there was a really grimy old tech where he just played uh where he played sudden shock it was pretty disgusting the card was very bad should probably not play that card so we're not going to sacrifice extra card drive elder here because we don't really need to we're just going to uh attack so we can get an extra point in because they're not going to take any damage from their lands so it's going to be very awkward for us to deal them the last couple points of damage with uh, the amount we have. Like we can deal 18 with a with escape shift. Like next turn we'll go for it, obviously. But obviously we have to hope that they just don't have it, which is pretty bad odds. But <laughs> you suppose you never know. Have to dodge if they don't have, you know, two of their f like eight or four ofs basically. Seems seems bad for us. Well, that prevents them from dying too. That's unfortunate. Well, I mean, we gotta sacrifice the Scourge Tribe Elder here and try and go for it. Grab the mountain. Play this. Crack that. Grab a Cinder Glade, right? Yep. Backed. Oh, thanks, Manage Raiders. Appreciate it. Alright, so we grab a Primeval Titan. Play Primeval Titan. And just kind of hope for the best, really. There's nothing we can really do. I would like to use Primeval Titan's ability. Thank you. So we can deal them. We have four, so we can put two more into play and deal them six damage. Which is not that bad. Be seven damage, but I really think it doesn't quite matter. So we'll just grab a Valakut and a Valakut. One. And if they have the combo, then, well, we're very dead. There's no interaction we have with it. I mean, uh, game one. Game two, we have we have some access to it. We can have the slaughter games, and that's solely what it's for. We just have to hope they don't have ad nauseum here. Surprise, surprise, they have ad nauseum. <laughs> what a surprise! <laughs> All right, so we get to see basically their entire deck. See how many of each card they have. There's one pack of negation. If you haven't seen uh, ad nauseum go off. It's pretty interesting. They draw their whole deck and then kill us with a lightning storm. I guess technically they can kill us with a, uh, a laboratory maniac if they have that too. All right, so it looks like they're playing a pretty, pretty stock list. I'd say nothing special. Triple pack mitigation. That's interesting. I think the norm is two, but I'm not a huge ad nauseum aficionado. So it looks like they had the uh, Laboratory Maniac in their hand. So that's interesting. Just go ahead and F6. See if our opponent messes up. It's definitely possible that our opponent can mess up here. They can Lightning Storm and then not hold control but they're gonna go for the smart play I love the smart play the smart play is the key so you use all four and then you play pentad prism and then you play the laboratory maniac and then you draw a card with serum visions that's the smart play oh nope they possibly messed up all right they didn't mess up good job team if they uh yeah if they didn't hold control on magic online they would lose because they would pass priority and then I would just pass back and then they would only deal me three damage <laughs> <laughs> it's a powerful it's a powerful strategy alright we are defeated you have hoist, you have bested us playing against our I uh, uh, wouldn't say uh, it's probably one of our worst matchups which is a tad awkward anyways we have some slaughter games and we have some uh, nature's claims <laughs> that's about it Take out all these Anger of the Gods and all these Lightning Bolts. Fairly simple sideboard. Slaughter Games naming Ad Nauseum should hopefully win us the game. 
so that's always a positive. Also, it can't be countered, which is important. I would like to play first. Uh, this is possibly a turn three slaughter game, so I will keep. The reason I say possibly is because we need to go get the black red land, and we currently cannot do that. So we have to find a fetch land, basically. So if we find a fetch land, we can grab it. If we don't find a fetch land, then, well, it'll be very awkward for us. No Lotus Bloom. Okay, that's good for us. Fetch land would be phenomenal. That is a Valakut, unfortunate. So we'll set ourselves up for success, obviously. Always want to make sure we set ourselves up for success. And what I mean by that is making sure we can actually cast it on the turn three. If we can't, then we can just go ahead and probably just nature's claim that pented prison. Sacrifice. Get a mountain. Alright. Can we find it? No. Unfortunate. So, in that case, two, three, yes. Find a Cinder Glade, play a Valkut, and just go ahead and kill that. Set them off of mana, which is pretty great for us. They have no, you know, uh, no big thing coming. Mm, this is very awkward for us. Well, we had a good option, good a chance of uh, you know playing it, but we never drew a fetch land, so it's unfortunate for us. So this is pretty good actually. We have four or five, so we can play this, play this, and this Sakura Drive Elder represents six damage. So we technically could still win here. This looks like the enchantment. You got it. So basically we have to draw just spells in general. That is a spell. Shoot, shoot. Yes, also yes. Attack for two. So once again, the Sakura Tribe Elder represents six damage at instant speed. So another land here and we can win, which is great. Just have to dodge a land from them, which they didn't have last turn. So that nature's claim on the Pentad Prism was super clutch. So we might still win, even though they uh, had the Thoughtseize for our slaughter games. Also, this picture is just like, incredibly creepy. <laughs> just like, <laughs> incredibly creepy. So any mountain kills them, uh, any you know, ramp spell, titan. So the only things that don't kill them are further Valak- oh, technically further Valakut's do. So if Valakut still kills them because it deals 9 damage off the Sakura Drive Elder, so that's good. Well, it doesn't actually- sorry, I shouldn't say it kills them because they have Phyrexian- they have the Phyrexian on life in play. So I'm really hoping they don't draw a land because they could just have a Simeon Spirit Guide to go off with, which obviously would be very unfortunate. All right, nothing, great. All right. No, one, two. Attack. Tap land for them. Could sneak one out. That would be pretty great. Stomping ground again. So we will go. This is two. So yeah, technically it's better to do this. No. Three and then three. Angel's Grace. Well, I can't respond to it, so. Uh, yes. 
Still yes. So we can't put them below one, so we can just wait. They actually don't have red mana. Sorry, they don't have two black mana, which is interesting as well. Play this. Attack. Go to negative one. So this should hopefully be lethal. Mountain one, two. We somehow managed to beat this deck. <laughs> All right, we took a game. Let's go. <laughs> we took a game. That's hype. Can we take one more? <laughs> I find that difficult to believe, but hey, you never know, I suppose. Yeah, we don't really have anything. Anger of the Gods does nothing, obviously. Lightning Bolt does basically nothing. Mops and Bailout, the four life, does nothing. Tireless Tracker is not really what we're after. Obviously, we're not looking to grind. And then Grafting's Cage stops them from nothing, so. Gotta hope for the turn three slaughter games again, I guess. We didn't get it last time because we didn't draw the Black Source <coughs> or Fetch Land, but we st still somehow won because they never drew five lands. Sweet for us. Can we have the turn three slaughter games? No, we cannot. But I still think this hand is okay. It has tribe it has turn two tribe elder into the turn three tribe elder into possible turn four scape shift. So we'll keep also we have the nature's claim, which won us the game last time. It's going to be awkward if they have a bunch of lotus blooms, but can't really help if they do. Oh, they do. Unfortunate. There's Titan. Pass. Once again, like, this hand doesn't have access to the slaughter games. We still don't have fetch lands. Which kinda sucks. Kinda sucks. Alright, nothing. Pact. Pact is not great. So we got Tribe Builder here. This comes off in two turns. So next turn, basically. So it's fairly unlikely we will win here, unfortunately. All right, well, that could actually come up. So we will sacrifice for a green source. So obviously we're hoping they don't have the uh, counter spell here, because we could actually uh, nature's claim them when they try and go off. So we're just going to play Sakura Tribe Elder here, and just pass. Do -do -do, do -do -do, do -do -do. All right, we got it all. We'll find out. One, two, three, four. Ley line of sanctity. All right, sure. Got me. Okay, that's fairly interesting. Now what do we do? So, if we draw a land, we can cast Primeval Titan. If we don't, obviously we cannot. I think I'm going to rock. They very clearly don't have Ad Nauseam, or else they would have just cast it there. So I think I'm just going to rock this. And then give ourselves the best option of winning by drawing a land. That is not a land, which is unfortunate. But it does give us a backdoor win. By playing this and this.
So next turn we can scape shift and then uh, just get all four Valakuts and then kill them. That's Pentad Prism. Okay, well, might be able to kill him. One, two, uh, might as well cancel that first. Add a whole bunch of mana. Escape shift. They do have the pact. Okay. Not the end of the world. Not the end of the world. Uh, okay. So they have to pay the mana here. Which obviously they, they have, obviously. So next turn we can Titan. And then go get two Valkuts. That's still a lot of damage. Yep. We could also top deck another escape shift. Or slaughter games. It is a far seek. Well, I guess we'll just play Titan. Old Titano. I would. Bellicut and Bellicut. One, two, three, and four. Always yes. Always yes. Always yield. Okay, they have one turn. One turn and then we win. Drum roll, please. <laughs> Did we actually manage to beat this matchup somehow? Thoughtsies. Okie dokie. They have one card in their hand. Oh. I guess their last card is probably Angel's Grace. Oh, hello. <laughs> Sick. All right. Deck. Yes. Valakut and Valakut. That's a lot of triggers. Many a trigger. Yep. What the heck? Alright, so they got a one, and we drew slaughter games. One, two, three, four. Ad nausea. One, two, three, and a four. Is that good? Tell me. Is it good? So they had three ley lines, they had lightning storm. They actually took out the uh the only other way to win. That's pretty funny. Alright, well, here we go. can't believe we won that matchup. <laughs> Got lucky on the end there, but they didn't ever draw the ad nauseum, so scoreboard. A scoreboard. Whew. So spicy. Did not think. Did not think we would have won that one, that's for sure. But, hey, we got there. And that's all that matters. All that matters is getting on the scoreboard. Do, 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 do. Alright. What are we against next? Easy game, man. Easy game. Uh, 
This one has zero ramp spells, so I'm gonna just obviously go ahead and mulligan this. We need a land for this hand to be very good, so we'll keep. We have 26 lands left in our deck, so I feel like we're at pretty good odds. Maybe that's just me. I feel like we're fairly good odds, though. We need a land. 26 lands left. Feels good. Tron. Alright. This is actually a pretty good matchup. The only way they usually can kill us is if we obviously just do nothing. And uh, surprise, surprise, we're going to be doing nothing. Didn't draw the land. I think it's uh, almost half our deck. We have like a 48% chance, I think, to hit. Something like that. 47, maybe. Well, looks pretty bad for us now, unfortunately. Okay, well, I mean, might as well go for it. Place a crew tribe. Go ahead. I mean, we kept the one lander. Right? There's no, there's no real complaints there. Like we kept the one lander. We, you know, kind of asked for it. Another map, sure. Like if they just have, uh, if they just have, what's it called? A, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? If they just have Ulamog, we are quite dead, unfortunately. All right, that kind of gives us some game. Grab a Cinder Glade here. Play this. Play Colony Heart. So if we draw a land here, we're actually in a pretty decent shape, actually. So we can go get Titan. Like, Ugin does really nothing here. Like, Ugin goes and gets Worm Coil Engine. Uh, sorry, not Worm Coil Engine. A, uh, a um, Ulamog, obviously. Or maybe not. I don't know. Like, they might just not have the other Urza's Tower. But Ugin in general does not much. It does kill both of our cards, which does suck, but I think I'm fairly okay with that if we draw a land. We do not draw a land. Well, I think that's probably it for us then. We had a chance. If we, I think if we hit immediately we probably win this game oh we definitely win this game actually if, if we hit immediately definitely win this game oh, all right sylvan's great okay well we're dead now so that sucks because they just play that oh yeah was a, all right uh, let's see here is there any chance we can win I don't think so. Yeah, we might as well play it out. We have to draw a land here. Yeah, that's fine. This. Summer's packed. Go get Titan. Play Titan. Yes. Valakut. And Valakut. Go ahead. It's possible our opponent just like fucks up or something. Who knows? Shocking. They did not fuck up. has non-lame card so that doesn't actually do anything we actually just have zero cards for this matchup which is kind of awkward so i guess we just run it back just cut these nature's claim is probably better on the play and then i guess we can put in a tireless tracker because slaughter games really does nothing 
Like, we could bring in a name Ulamog, but that seems very grimy, so I will not do that. Actually, I guess, like... Yeah, let's do this. Can't imagine any of the gods is even slightly good. Yep. Can't keep that. Another one lander, eh? Well, I'll keep it. Nope. Uh, that's unfortunate. I think this matchup's pretty good. If we don't draw abysmally. I don't think it's very good. It doesn't really hit a lot of things. It just like only hits what just like one or two targets. Like Karn is annoying, sure. Like the cards most of the cards are annoying, but I don't really think it's that great. Stomping ground. Play Omen. If we draw one more land, be nice. Looks like they have a fairly easy turn for Tron. Okay. Those. Oh, all right. That gives us an out here. If we draw a land, land. Oh man. Well, we're still killing that. Land would have been great. We went to Wood Elves into the Nature's Claim. Oh, didn't even matter. Obviously, they just had it all. <laughs> That's funny. Uh, let's see here. How could we win? We could draw land. They have absolutely nothing. All right, there's the first start. There is the first start. Elves get a stomping ground. No. Yeah, like once again, I think if we just hit one of the two turns, we probably win. No, oh, they just had everything. All right, well, not much we can do about that. So, I mean, I guess we could have went to five, but oh well. If they don't turn three naturally, you could name Karn or Ugin. I mean, yeah, I guess like Ugin doesn't actually do a lot, honestly. Karn is kind of annoying, but it's usually like double stone rain for them to not lose. But I mean, those games, I mean, the first game we probably should have, well, no, I think the first hand was fine. But like the second hand, we probably should have went down to five, I suppose, because we didn't really do a lot. I suppose there's that. This hand doesn't have a green source, so I will mulligan. This hand's pretty good, so I'll keep. Belkut's actually quite good since we have the Prismatic Omen. lead on the forest and the search for tomorrow here. Virgin Catacombs is either we got Jund. I'm not sure how Jund would be now that they have access to Assassin's Trophy. Because if we like kind of go off, they can Assassin's Trophy the Valakut or a land, and we don't have enough. Which is kind of interesting. But I could search for a land, so never mind. Dark Confront, you got it. All right, that's quite good. So I guess we can just go this, Prismatic Omen, and pass. Landu. Not having much versus Ad Nauseam and Well, like, Ad Nauseam, there's nothing we can really have. Like, we have Slaughter Games, which is our best option. 
Tron, there's... What else are we going to have for Tron? Are we going to have, uh, like, the discard a spell? Like, that doesn't seem very good either, right? I don't know, like... Seems kind of loose, don't you think? Excuse me. Probably should have actually kept that Valakut now that I think about it. Cast. Mountain. This one. I actually just straight up forgot about search for this game. Search for uh, tomorrow. So grab a stomping ground. No. Play a stomping ground. No. Pass. Don't want to see a discard spell here. Basically, we want them to go plus and then. We draw a land, and then we just play Primeval Titan. That would be the best case scenario. This looks like a Bloodbraid Elf. Yeah, I think Tron is like a pretty good matchup. I feel like we just kind of got unlucky. Though we probably should have mulliganed the second hand in the second match. Definitely discarding Escape Shift here. It's way more likely we'll get the Primeval Titan than the Escape Shift. There goes that. If we use that, here comes Bloodbraid Elf. Do, 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 do. Oh, that's a miss. So no Bloodbraid Elf. So that's great. I guess if they could have second Liliana here, that'd be pretty bad for me. That would be pretty bad. Definitely shouldn't have discarded this Valkyrie. I just completely forgot about the search for tomorrow. They just have nothing. Alright, so we have to peel land. We did it. Go team. We did it. If they have Assassin's Trophy, they should use it before my trigger goes on the stack. Oh, no, they fucked up. Valakut. Valakut. So, this... This, this, you. Yes to all. And we can rumble with the wood elves just for funsies. Now, every land in our deck deals six damage, so that's pretty chill. This matchup is also quite good, though I'm not sure about with the Inquisition, sorry, uh, the acquisition of uh, Assassin's Trophy by them. Though, Assassin's Trophy seems kind of loose here. They just like jam it on my Premier Titan. Dreadboard, alright, that's pretty good. Yeah, basically. That's like a consideration. I like how they fatal pushed me there, it was nice. Good job. Oh, that's a lot of damage. So we can attack first, because why not? Play the land. Deal you six. Doesn't kill them, but it puts them to one, basically, so there's that. Actually, you know what? I feel like this is better, because I could just have a removal spell. They could have a removal spell in response to me fetching, so it's just safer to put them to one. Blood Bray Elf. Sp spin the wheel! Oh, big hit. Huge hit. Want to give me a land? <laughs> Do you want to give me a land, bro? Come on. <laughs> Alright, maybe Assassin's Trophy is pretty bad. Wow, they actually targeted something. <laughs> they just killed themselves. Yes, I would. All right. Bonk. <laughs> Deal. Genius. 
All right, so Obstinate Bailiff definitely comes in here. Thay Liliana us, we get to play it for free, which is pretty nice. Tireless Tracker also comes in because it's a grindy matchup. And the Gods has like a little bit of use. It's good against the very low half of their deck with um, Dark Confidant, Ugh, excuse me, Bloodbraid Elf, and like a very small Goyf or a very small Scavenging Use. But I feel like they should be cutting scavenging use from their deck anyways. It's pretty bad against us. And then it shouldn't really ever hit Goyf. If it does, I'd be quite surprised. So against us, they're most likely bringing in like Fulminator Mage or something like that. I feel like Colony Heart Expedition is too loose against them. Prismatic Omen is fine as a one of. I think we can safely cut one Scape Shift. And one, it's either Wood Elves probably. It's possible we just don't want any bolts either, but I think being able to kill a Liliana seems kind of important. <laughs> well, once again, we have no green mana, so we have to mulligan. If this was a green, I'd keep the hand, because we could go Valakut into green source and to go off from there. Sounds fine. It has turn one search, turn two search, uh, secure tribe elder, so definitely keep that one. Possible turn four primeval titan. Uh, yeah, this one seems like a easy keep. We do want lands, obviously, but they might just take our secure tribe elder here with a discard spell. Though they probably should just take search for tomorrow because it's the only turn one play we have. I mean, they could just take Primeval. Oh, never mind. I was gonna say they could take Primeval Titan, but we also have Scape Shift, so I feel like they're just supposed to take Search for tomorrow because it's the only one drop we have. Uh, excuse me. Yep. I go Search. So we'll play the Stomping Ground first. So we can just go get a basic with this one. I want to take the least amount of damage possible. Goy from them would be a little annoying because that's just a nice fast clock. But we have the double secure dry builder for blocks, which is nice. Here comes the Goyf. Or Bob. Bob it is. One sec. Alright, so we'll go ahead, play the land, play our mountain here, just pass the turn. Burden casualties for I'm sure. So we get to block and sacrifice. So we save two points of damage from the Sakura Tribe Elder, which is nice. Feels like a Liliana. It's Liliana. Oh, scavenging is. Uh, why is that still in their deck? The card seems not great, but I guess it's good here. So we'll just freely block. Doesn't seem super hot, but I mean, it does obviously gain a life here. Uh, I feel like it doesn't really matter that much. We need to land anyways, so. Like here, if we draw a land here, it'd be great, because we can just Tireless Tracker. All right. So we can Tireless Tracker, gain a clue, or we can just Secure Tribe Elder to keep going. I mean, I guess Secure Tribe Elder allows us to possibly Titan next turn, if we peel a land. Yeah, I kind of like that more. Just get ourselves to being able to tighten as fast as possible just seems like the best course of winning. Like once we get tightened, it's usually pretty game over for them. And it's very obvious they don't have a Thoughtseize or else they probably would have played it last turn. Though they get two draw steps here. That is a land. I don't think they've hit anything else but lands, which 
fairly lucky, but I mean the deck plays what? 24 probably? This looks like a Bloodbraid Elf. I mean, Bloodbraid Elf could be really anything, which sucks. Bloodbraid. Bloodbraid Elf. Yep. No thoughtsies, please. Bolt. Alright, well, I mean, that's still quite good. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. My face. Uh, I guess that deals the same amount of damage. That's fair. So I'll just block the scavenging ooze, sacrifice my elder, and then hope to draw a land. I think any land will do except for Valakut. Valakut would be the worst land draw. Block. Sack. Grab a mountain. Hope to draw a land. Ooh, bad times. Well, I mean, we only have one option, so uh, we'll just play it out, and unfortunately we did not hit. That happens. Take 10. Oh, we might be dead here. Might be dead here. Oh, Craig Wesco wants to talk to me. That's chill. Oh, Craig Wesco. Oh, there goes my light. That's nice. <laughs> People just fuck with me now. So, technically not dead at the moment, depending on what this hits. The Assassin's Trophy. Well, we're dead to that, unfortunately. Exaxes, in fact. Alright, well, fair enough. That's unfortunate. If we hit the land there, I think we win, but that happens. I think we want the Wood Elves back in. We can shave a tracker. I think we want the angers, I guess. I mean, the bolts would have been basically the same thing, but I feel like maybe the angers need to get back in. Maybe shave. These are one drops. I'm not sure what we shave here. Uh, maybe it's just anger of the gods. Just keep it like this. We just want it lean and mean, basically. I would like to play first. Yep, sends okay. It's pretty discard spell proof, which is nice. They have like a lot of discard spells. We have, you know, basically triple titan. The downfall of this hand will be probably them playing Liliana on turn three. So no discard spell is great. A two drop would be really nice here. Not a two drop, but it's still not that bad. We'll play this, pass. Ooh, actually, we have a nice spicy play if they have turn three Liliana. <laughs> I just realized that. So we can, uh, if they turn three Liliana us, we can uh, Summoner's Pact for a, um, we can Summoner's Pact for a uh, Obstinate Bailoth. And then just play the opposite bail off it for free, which is pretty nice. I would like to use it. Thank you very much. Got a mountain. What else is nice? Go ahead and grab a stomping ground. No. Play mountain. And we have turn four Titan, which should be pretty game over. Unless they have, like, something wacky. I guess Fulminator Mage prevents us. <laughs> they have exactly Fulminator Mage, then I guess that prevents us from doing anything. Yeah, Fulminator Mage would be pretty annoying. 
Oh, I just realized they could have Blood Moon. Yeah, I mean, Blood Moon would be quite bad for us. Didn't think I'd have to be playing around Blood Moon in this matchup. But I suppose I've seen it out of this deck before. Alright, Bolt. <laughs> Thank goodness. <laughs> that's, that's not a Blood Moon. Thank goodness. Alright, so we get to Titan next turn, which is great. Take four here, which is definitely a lot. But I think I'm okay with that. Ooh, they are one damage away. We could have almost killed them if we dealt if they dealt themselves one more damage. Like if they got a shock land here instead of a basic, they would have died. We would have went uh, land for Verdant Catacombs. That puts us to six mana. We could Summoner's Pact for a Sakura Tribe Elder, leaving us with four mana. Play the Sakura Tribe Elder, sacrifice to go up to seven mana, and then Scape Shift would deal them Xaxi's 18 damage. But we still have uh, a Titan, which is still quite good. Get a Cinder Glade so we don't damage ourselves. Uh, I would like to use the ability. So, if we get a Valakut and a land here, a mountain, we only get <coughs> we only get to deal three damage, and three damage doesn't kill any of their creatures. So we might as well just get two Valakuts here. That way, when we play a second Primeval Titan, they should probably die from it or the Scape Shift. They're basically dead to I believe all the cards in our hand, unless they can somehow deal us fifteen damage this turn. If they can do that, then hey, kudos to them. That is a tireless <laughs> that is a tireless tracker that does not do anything. All right, our opponent is incredibly dead. So that's a positive, right? So we'll just go for the the easy play of Summer's Pact. Titan, play Titan, and they are very dead. We just go get another Valakut and a land that deals them 9 damage. When we attack with Primeval Titan, it gets 2 lands that deals them 18 damage. So they are just dead. <laughs> Pop value, yeah. I would like to use the ability, thank you for asking. So, we have five lands, right? One, two, three, four, five. So, Valakut, Mountain. One, two, three. Yes. Also, yes. Let me think about this for a second. Yes. All right, go to attacks. Deck. One more trigger. Yes. Grab mountain. And stomping ground. No. Deal you many damages. And we got there. Alright. We got three wins. That's always positive. Got our money back. That's all we care about at the end of the day. One more win would be pretty nice, though. 3 2, though. Honestly, about what I expected from the deck. But we have been playing against some pretty good matchups. Well, actually, that's not true. Match 2 was a pretty terrible matchup, and Match 3 was a good matchup. But we still lost it anyways. But as you can see, the deck is fairly consistent. We have a pretty pretty normal turn 4 you know, Titan or turn 4 or 5 win. So that's pretty good against a lot of people. Especially people who are giving you time, right? Uh, so this hand doesn't really do a lot. It's basically solely on this Prismatic Omen, which is quite good, especially since if we get six mana. Actually, you know what? I'm actually going to keep this hand. I realize we're on the play here. We can go turn to Prismatic Omen, which is quite good, actually. Basically, if they're playing a deck that uh, gives us a little bit of time, it's going to be very difficult for them to deal with it. Ooh, that's always a good draw, too. So we will, I think we want to lead with Prismatic Omen here, personally. 
it's less likely they have a counter spell for it in the later games, or the later turns, I want to say. So, Flooded Strand also wants me to believe that they are a control deck. And the only outs that they have this now would be Exaxi Spell Snare. And if they have Spell Snare, then, well, that'd be unfortunate, but they would have had Spell Snare for the Far Seek anyways. If this is Blue White, the only card we really care about from them is. Um, what's it called? Uh, Field of Rune. Because they can Field of Rune or Valkit. It's basically the only card we really care about. We don't want to see. It looks like Blue White so far. Unless they're playing Fetchland Storm. And if they're playing Fetchland Storm, then whatever. Not a big deal. Uh, they have enough mana to make us pay for this no matter what, so it doesn't really matter. Alright. Get this. No. This. So they have to have Exaxes the uh, Field of Rune here, or else they're going to take a lot of damage. Alright, Ghost Quarter, unfortunate. And they had 5 outs. I would like to use it, thank you very much. Grab a Mountain. There's not really much point of Lightning Bolting them. Just play a land and pass. So now we're looking for <clears throat> more Valakuts, Primeval Titans, anything like that. Unfortunate that they have the Ghost Quarter, but nothing we can do. No real need to fetch here. Primeval Titan. Alright, well. I feel like we're supposed to jam here before they can. Um, I feel like we're supposed to jam before they can Crypt a Command. They also didn't counter any of my other spells, though it's very easily for them to draw a counter spell. But yeah, we definitely want to do this before they, they Crypt a Command. Because obviously I, I don't really want to give them the chance to Crypt a Command. Okay. Spell. Unfortunate. Oh, remand. Okay, that's not the end of the world. Though, obviously, it allows them to bridge towards a cryptic command, which sucks. Yep. So, I think our best draw here is probably just Valakit. Alright, I'm just gonna play it again. They have it, they have it. There's not really much we can do about it. We can't really play around Crypto Command. We can have a possibility of like jamming two of these in one turn, but that's about it. Play land, pass. Yeah, so obviously if they just didn't have the remand there, they probably just lose on the spot. But hey, what can you do? Field of Rune? Sure. This looks like tapping out for Teferi. Sure. So obviously we'll go ahead and kill Teferi, because we don't want that to live. Though it's possible they might just die to this, uh... They might just die to the escape shift now. They only have two mana available. Uh... I mean, obviously, if they have exact C's, that one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, right? Seven, so we can still kill them anyways. So I guess we just pull this end of turn. So we'll lead with. So basically, we either play around. No, we'll just jam scape shift. We'll just jam scape shift. Okay. 
They have to have Exaxes, the uh, the Delve Counter spell here. Yeah, sweet. They did not have the Delve Counter spell. So here we basically just want threats. We just want as many threats as physically possible so we can just jam them into them. Slaughter games, I don't think it's great. Uh, I guess we'd name Cryptic Command. Like, that doesn't seem fantastic. But we'll see how many cards we have to cut out. Anger of the Gods is obviously the complete brick. I don't think Lightning Bolt is very needed. Though I suppose we can kill a Vendillion Cleek, which is kind of important. Uh, I think we might just want it just like this, basically. Like, we can technically cut this Colony Heart Expedition for Slaughter Games, just to see what's up. Disdainful Stroke and Negate. I mean, I know they have those, but it's not like we can really do anything about them. I don't think we're going to Slaughter Games <laughs> to Negate. Oh, you're talking about uh, when we went for it? Okay, sure. They could have had uh, they could have had negate. I I'd be very surprised if they had the sample stroke main deck. That does not seem like a main deck card ever in modern. Would be very bold. I think I'm I'm okay with this. Just one slaughter games. Let's see if we can win this one too. That'd be pretty chill. Uh, yeah, this hand's pretty good. We'll keep it. We can go turn 2 Farseek into turn 3 Tireless Tracker, which seems quite good. And then we have uh, Primeval Titans down the line. We'll lead on the Valakut. Though I suppose if they have, um, what's it called? A uh, Ghost Quarter plus, uh, what's that card? Surgical Extraction? Yeah, Surgical Extraction at Ghost Quarter is annoying. But I don't think we can really play around that. Not in this matchup, at least. We're going to have to play it eventually. Uh, I think I'll lead on the Farseek here. Grab a Stomping Ground. And then we can start on the Tireless Tracker, because we have the Word of Foothills. Field of Ruin, sure. One, two, three. We have the fetch land here. Gets us two clues, hopefully. This looks like a counter spell. Field of Ruin, my Valakut. Alright, well, how much we can do about that? I mean, if they have the Surgical Extraction, then, well, it's going to be a tough game for us. Though I'm fairly surprised they did it this way. Alright, well, that was definitely incorrect. Because now I can just do this. And then go get another land here. Go get Cinder Glade. Get two clues. They should definitely have waited for at least for us to crack our, our, our land here, but I'm, I'm fairly okay with this. Now we get two clues here. Yes. Go get a mountain. Uh, I think I'm just going to place a Crow Tribe Builder here. And then now we have access to Titan next turn, which is pretty great. They also don't have access to uh, Cryptic Command as they just played this Ghost Quarter. So we're definitely going to go for the Titan. So they have no Crypto Commands. I mean, obviously they just have Remand or whatever other counter spell. But they have to, like, kill their own land to Crypto Command. Remand, sure. They kill their own land at Cryptic Command. I'm I'm fairly okay with that. All right. Oh, excuse me. I'm not gonna lie. This deck has been playing out a lot better than I expected it to. I expected to uh, not do well at all. But hey, we're three and one. We're already up a game. The Geist of Saint Traft. Ooh, that's uh, pretty spooky. 
that's pretty spooky. So it's fairly obvious they have another counter spell here. I don't really think we can play around it though. Like there's really nothing we can. I mean, I guess technically we can go Wood Elf Sakura Tribe Elder. We could do that. And then we have two blockers for this. Is that worth it? Hmm. Well, that definitely could be, actually. And prevents them from me. I mean, I. I feel like their counter spell of choice here is going to be either another remand or the disdainful stroke. I think I'm going to preview Titan here. All right, excellent. Landed, which is great. They did not have a path to exile either, or else they would have used it. They had to have Exaxi's remand or disdainful stroke. Or I guess they could have had the the delve one again. Yep. Yep. Mountain. Daily three. It's very obvious they don't have Path Exile here. Oh, they just played badly, that's all. Okay, fair enough. You should always Path to Exile before the trigger, because now I get to deal them three damage. And if they just passed Exiled before the trigger, I wouldn't get to deal them 3 damage. And obviously that could come up hugely. Like we have 1, 2, 3, 3 more triggers in our hand. Alright, so, oh, hello. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. All right. Well, then this is definitely worth it. Uh, what's up? Now everything is basically a lightning bolt, which is pretty sick. Snapcaster Mage. All right, I guess they're gonna remand this. Sure. That doesn't even seem very good. I'm glad we didn't start off with the Primeval Titan there, though. Yep. One, two. Get the stomping ground here. No. So if we shoot them, they go to 11 here. This is 6, 7, 8, 8 plus 4 is 12. So I don't think they can actually kill me, right? And if they go to 11 here, they die to the Titan. Yeah, I'm pretty into this. Because now this gives us more outs. Also, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. We can almost uh, double Primeval Titan. Oh, sure. So, no Celestial Colonnade here, which is nice. They also only have two cards in their hand. What do they do with it? Bottomed? That's a good sign. What is this? Jace? Sure. That doesn't do anything. That also means they don't have a counter spell, so that should be game over. They played a Lamas turn, right? Yeah, they already played Island, so I guess they're just dead. Sweet. Go team! Alright, well we win, so that's cool. Yeah, GG. Block. Forest. Shoot them. Yep. 
He looks slower at games. One, two, three, four, five, six. I like how we just didn't use these clues ever. It's kind of funny. All right, got the nice four one. Good job, team. All right, well this deck actually felt a lot better than uh, I thought it would, which is pretty great. Uh, it seems like the kind of grindier mid-range strategies are getting more and more play. It's decks like, uh, you know, <coughs> excuse me, decks like, uh, what's it called, uh, KCI have like definitely fallen out of favor, Storm 2, which is good. It looks like there's more of a rise of like Jund, Dredge, and uh, control matchups, which I think are all fairly decent like i think that deck is a little sketchy like they lean heavily on the land destruction package and if they can kill all of my valkits then obviously it's going to be really tough for me but i feel like uh the four mana destroy non base of land remove all that type oh sure so you want one card against tron is that what you want I feel like if we want the card for Tron, we'd put in, um, we'd put in Damping Sphere because that gives us also an extra out against Storm, against Ad Nauseum, uh, and against other combo matchups, which are our bad matchups anyways. So it's possible you just want that card, period. But um, the main deck was tight. Uh, we didn't anger the gods at all, so that's a little sucky. Also, Lightning Bolt didn't do much either. It was just our main deck won us the game. Uh, Slaughter Games came up one time, so I guess that's okay. We didn't cite it in Grafter's Cage at all, but obviously we all know it's what, what it's there for. The Rise of Dredge, and it's good against Storm as well. Tireless Tracker we brought in a couple times, used it once, didn't do anything. Obstinate Bail off the wrong the same lines, and then Nature's Claim, I guess, actually won us the game against Ad Nauseam, so that's a positive, right? So, I mean, overall, the deck was totally fine. Uh, if you like... There's been a few times where you did want to draw Slaughter, though. Yeah, for sure. Like, it would have been very good in uh, a few spots, for sure. I don't know. Uh, if you like just a nice, easy deck to play, a nice, simple deck to play, and, uh, you know, one that's consistent. And also, I don't even think this deck costs, like, a ton of money anymore because Scapeshift got reprinted, right? Like, I'm fairly certain the deck went way down in price. Like, on Moto right now, I think it's only, like, maybe $130, which is fairly cheap for a modern deck. In fact, that's probably one of the most cheapest modern decks you can buy right now. So if you're looking to get into modern right now, into, uh, onto Moto, I would definitely suggest this deck. It's very, very cheap. Yeah, it's only 130-ish tickets. That's, uh, that's ludicrously cheap. <laughs> that's a crazy cheap actually yeah but yeah you know I uh, hope you guys enjoyed it and uh, that'll be it for me for today it's a good day not too bad see you guys next time